Hello guys, welcome to ECTV Presents Tech View, another episode. Um, today I'll show you guys um, actually how you can downgrade the BM version. That means if you create a VMware uh, virtual machine uh, in, on any kind of uh, VSPR environment, like say uh, ESXi 6.5 or 6.7 or 7, um, any environment if you create. So whenever you just create, whenever you start the creating process, uh, like in that time, if you are like click on the ESXi host and start doing the process, it's gonna take the ESXi, current ESXi uh, version, uh, hardware version. So, um, but one thing you have to remember, like in your environment, if you have a mixed ESXi, that means different, different type of version, like for example, 6.5, if you have like, for example, five machines, uh, five hosts, and another five hosts maybe 6.5, another five hosts maybe seven. So whenever you create a machine and you click the SXI and right click the SXI and just creating a uh, initiate to deploy a machine, virtual machine, in that time it will take uh, the current version, current SXI version, um, the harder version, which is, for 6.5 is 13, 6.7 is um, 14. But if you want to make your machine compatible with all kind of ESXi host, in that case, you have to just think about it, how many version you have on your current environment. So you, if you have uh, 6, 6.5 or, or, or just 6.5 and 6.7, whatever, based on that, you have to make your decision. So it's better to create a VM whenever you have any kind of older version and you're creating a virtual machine on 6.7, but still you should keep the harder version as the lower version, which is 6.5. The version should be 30. But by mistake, if you do, by, by, my, by mistake, if you create a harder version 14, which is 6.7, so that machine can only be reside only be sit on um, six point seven host. If you want to migrate it to six point five host, you cannot do that. That means it's already lose the compatibility. So if you want to work out, if you want to work out uh, this VM to move from six point seven to six point five, in that case you have to do downgrade the VM hardware version. We already know how to upgrade the upgrade VM version is very simple process, but for downgrading, it's different, uh, it's different way, like it's a little bit tricky, but it's not that hard. I'll show you guys how we can do that. So I'm going to share my screen. And uh, this is my SXI environment. So in my environment, I have all host is 6.7. I don't have any issues if I, uh, create the VM version 14 here. VM version is 14 for 6.7. Like whenever you create a machine, right click on it, you said new machine, master machine, and click next. And then you can just put some name and click next. Click next. Click next. In here, it says comparable with 6.7 and later. So if you keep it by default, it's taking 6.7 because I right click on that. 6.7 host, that's why it's taking 6.7. But in your environment, if you have 6.5 or, or, or like a older version, like 6.0 or something, in that case, you should go with the, the old, oldest one. If you have 6.0, then you should go 6.0. And if you, if you have like 6.5, you should go with 6.5. But if you keep it 6.7, that means it's gonna take the, whatever machine you are creating is gonna be compatible with only the 6.5 host, nothing else. So if you cancel it, so if you create the machine on any of the hosts here, you're gonna create a virtual machine. Other version is um, VM version is 14. That means it's gonna be compatible with. Uh, 6.7 only. This is a version. This is a version 6.14. So that is not, it's gonna compare 6.7. But 
how you can move this machine later on if you need to move to other host, which host has 6.5. And 6.5 compatible version is, VM version is 13. So you cannot move this machine. So after you create, how you can make it a downgrade? That's what I'm gonna show you right now. So for creating a downgrade version, first we need to, so let me log in with that, this one, current one. Uh, all right. So I logged in, the machine is working fine, right? So the only thing is you have to first shut, shut it down. So I'm going to shut it down. Shut down the machine. You need to shut it down the machine. You need to shut down. You just need to be wait a little bit. And the shut down is gonna be shut down. Check the status here. It's going to be shut down. Now, continue. All right, so actually I need another tool, which is called, I'm going to, this means it's like, actually I have that part, that tools in my other machine, I'm going to be there. Oh, actually uh, this machine is clean up the disk because it has a snapshot on it, I just, So, no balance, I think. I'm a little confused. My settings, so this is my Q1. Okay, let me go out all from here. I need to sign up from. All right, I'm going to log, log in again. The only one thing I need to verify, uh, which is I need uh, I need to log in the center first. So my this machine. This machine is belongs to host number one. So I need to uh, log in host number one to, uh, what is called? Okay, all right. The reason I'm not able to log in here because of this. All right, so let me download in a CP. CP tools download, and this one download. In the 
Okay, it's downloading and it's been almost done. All right. Let's see in mind. All right, who's that? Who's that? Yes. Oh, it's not fine. All right, so launch the recipient. So the requirement is the requirement is uh, whatever machine you want to make a downgrade, you have to power it off. And then go to the host and set the host, which is my first host. And I think this is 192.168.1.11. And Username. All right. The reason it's not logged in because uh, I have to enable SSH. This is another thing you have to remember. If you want to access to NSCP or Adi, uh, you have to do, you have to enable the SSH code. So the SSH port on this host is not enabled. To me, this is the mistake, and from the mistake you can learn, which is the first thing is you have to enable because if you want to log in uh, there, you have to enable it. So how you enable it? Select the host configuration, then scroll down uh, services and SSH is not enabled. It's disabled. That's why. Start it. Now it's running. Now we can try again. Login. It's now logged in. All right. So this is the host site inside the host. So how are I supposed to check? DMFS or actually VSIM. VSIM is inside VSIM. Nice. It's really tricky. So if it is on a BMFS, it's, it's easy. Uh, so you hear BMFS. Device. All right. Here is the F one, and I inside that. Data store. So on the from the data store, you have to edit. So we have, uh, if you can look at here, uh, on this machine, our current version is 14. And also it has total two, if we go to the edit option, you'll be able to see here is total uh, two hard drive. So we have to edit both. I'm going to go back to the WSCP. So from here, you have to, update.bmdk, this is the first hard drive, and machine name, the BM name underscore one dot bmdk, this is another drive. So we have sort of two hard drive, and also BMX file. So two things you have to, actually basically BMDK and BMFS. If you have multiple BMDK, you have to do multiple BMDK. That's the 
things. Uh, so I'm going to edit one by one. All right. Then here you just need to find out the DMR HW version, that is hardware version is 14. You just need to make it 13, right? If you want to make compatible with 6.5. All right, so this is done. This one is done. I'm done with this one. Nothing else. Save, so, yes. Now I'm going, going for another VMDK, this one, here. And the same thing, just going to modify it. Repair the four and repair the four with three, which is 13. And save it, yes. And now BMX file, BMX file, edit. And you have to find out in BMR hub, that's it, see here. 13, 13. Anything else? Any other place? No. It shouldn't be any other place. All right. So, configuration wise, we are done. It's pretty simple. So what you have to do, very simple, whatever machine you want to downgrade, the VM version downgrade, you have to power it off. And also you have to check that the VM it belongs to which host, you have to log in that host, and also you have to remember the data store. So through the, um, you don't need exactly, you don't need to uh, like, another thing is whenever you do the VSCP, exactly you don't need to go the same host, you can log into other hosts if the data store is shared with all other hosts. In that case, you just need to find out the data store. But before you do the OSTP, make sure whatever host you are logging, you enable the SSH service. Otherwise, you will not be able to log into OSTP. So my OSTP task is done. Yes. And now I'm going to power on the machine. See, still now the VM version is 14. VM version shows 14. I'm going to power on. If when I'm going to power on, it's going to, it's going to be changed. Just look at here. See, the version is 13 now. It just changed. And now give it time to power on. I want to be power on. I'm just waiting a little bit. Almost done. So this is how you can change the version. You can down, you can actually downgrade. Upgrade is very simple. You just need to write power off machine and just right click and you can say um, all right now my all VM has a latest power version. But if you are a, if like you your machine is young, you check the system seven, but the machine other version is showing eight, ten or something. In that case, you can do the compatibility, upgrade compatibility, and also you can make a schedule, or also you can do this. Just very simple, easy way. All right, so this is done. See, the machine is already powered on. So this is the way you can do that. Um, let me stop my share. So if you think my video is helping you, and um, if you understand and if you think it's helping you, Please share with your friends who needs it. And also, don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a big thumbs up if you like it. And also, don't forget to click the bell icon for getting my next video. Thank you. Thanks for watching.